Hey, Rick, 100%. <laughs> Now, the, now that I heard that Rod Stewart song, I'm not going to be able to get it. I didn't even hear the Rod Stewart song. I think that's because there wasn't one. It wasn't one. Oh, I thought maybe we're going deaf or something. You're just having this stupid earpiece. Okay, yeah, there. I'm going to head over there. Me too. It's Dr. Pet Heather has a dog on month. the mm -hmm. counter. So you, that's always gonna, a good Are you going to bring a dog back to life? I already did that. <laughs> Oh, well, that dog is so awesome. This is it's an awesome dog. So we're talking about things we got to have zipper? in our pet first aid kit. Hey. Exactly. And it's not just the regular things you think hey, of. A lot of people dog. have like gauze and antibiotic ointment, and that's cool. But I want to show you some other interesting things okay. that are just as effective. Put chocolate in it? Yes, Rick, definitely. Put chocolate. <laughs> yes, thank you for your help. Yes. So let's talk about a common thing that I have people freaking out about. My dog's paw is bleeding all over the place, blood everywhere. It could be a broken nail or it could be a bleeding paw pad. Simple way to stop a, bl a, a bloody nail, like if we cut Zipper's nails a little bit too close, we can use cornstarch right here. And I'm just going to press it right on her supposedly bleeding toe. And you don't add water or anything. It's just nope. right. You can just put it right on because the blood is going to stick to the cornstarch mm -hmm. and it's going to help it clot. Would that work if I cut myself shaving? You know, try it and take pictures and tweet it. Okay? <laughs> Good yeah. answer. Please. And the other thing is, so bleeding paw pad, too, we can use baby socks. Big oh. socks if it was my big dog, Jasper, but little baby socks for zipper. And we're stealing these from my little son, Caleb, who has cute little feet. You just slide them right over top, and then you can use, can you pick, just throw me that duct tape there, Rick? There we go. And we're going to duct tape. It's got to use for everything, right? Love so that. duct tape, baby socks to keep to keep the, your, at least your house clean from getting blood all over the place, but also to keep contamination at a minimum. One time I, I cut my Yellow Lab Baxter's nails too short and made a couple of them bleed, and now yeah. he won't let me ever cut them again. I but it's, I will do this yes. if I ever Yeah, so try, try that. To, and then, but then go to the vet because you don't want to put this on too tight or you can uh, cut off circulation to the feet, yeah. and that would be a disaster. Now, what is this? All right, is so this, this, is, this is high school chemistry right here. So <laughs> okay. if you own a dog, you need to own a bottle of 3% hydrogen peroxide. Okay? I do for my hair already, so. I can tell. Beautiful streaks. <laughs> Beautiful. So, um, I thought there was something. <laughs> <laughs> you use this to help make dogs vomit. Don't use it on cats. Just use it on dogs. And the actual bubbles inside the hydrogen peroxide upset their stomach and makes them vomit. My dogs vomit what about too much already. Cats. No, cats are so hard to make vomit. Don't even go. It's so difficult. It's a huge frustration for veterinarians what to get you, there. Can you stick your... Are you helpful at all? <laughs> <laughs> you don't even own pets. I don't even know why you're in the segments with me. I, someday, you know? I will own a pet. Maybe. Someday, maybe. Yeah. I talk Does this work it. on people? It, I don't know. Do you want to... Can <laughs> we just do the dog thing? Please, <laughs> try that. Tweet I have to, right? Yeah. I, sometimes yeah. I have, have had a reason why I thought, I wish I could throw up right now. It, it probably it. would. It so probably how, would. Much you put, how much do you give them? So uh, uh, no less than three table. No more, I'm sorry, than three tablespoons. But so many people try this, and it doesn't work because they're using old hydrogen peroxide. So I have an experiment here for you. You. This is old hydrogen peroxide with potatoes in it, and there's no bubbles. Potatoes have an enzyme in it called catalase, which makes bubbles happen. So if you want to know if your hydrogen peroxide's working, get potatoes, put it in, and, and then put hydrogen peroxide on top. And if you have bubbles, then your hydrogen peroxide will make your dog vomit. What Very inexpensive anyway. Yeah, hydrogen so peroxide like goes bad. Cents. It does. It goes bad because it's H2O2, and if it just if you leave the cap off or it's hanging out for too long, it turns into H2O. What? Uh, which what's isn't, the shelf life? Not very that. long. So I would, you know, every three months I'd probably check it and make sure that, you know, do your little potato experiment. Or you can put it on your tongue. And this is like you have for like, like 15 why, years. Under what circumstances would a dog need to be That's vomiting? a very good question. If they eat something like chocolate or um, your own medications or something toxic. Right. So call your vet and make sure that whatever it is that they ate that you're worried about actually is toxic. Because sometimes it's not even worth making them vomit. Well, what, what if your dogs throw up long clippings in your living room a lot? How can you get them to stop doing that? I, 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 don't, I don't even know how to answer that. I mean, I don't even. I have a know, friend whose dog I'm do sure that. it's a friend. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like our cat used to do that repeatedly. We'd go out and eat grass and mm -hmm. bushes and then would vomit it up. In the it's a room. pretty attractive quality in an animal. I yeah. feel like you're only batting about 50% on your answers today. I agree. I'm not doing very well. I'm sorry. We've stumped you a lot. Well, okay, I've got another. Speaking of cats, though, I want to show you a thing you need to have around if you have cats. This will clean them. This is, it will clean them, <laughs> but it's a, this is a degreasing dish soap. You're soaking in it. And it's important if your cat gets anything on them that is uh, toxic, like dog flea preventative. Dog so flea so this this time of year, people are putting flea preventative on their animals yes. because it's starting to get warm out. The fleas are out, and if you accidentally put dog flea preventative on a cat, um, they can have a very bad yes. reaction. Yes, and they mm. they start tremoring and seizuring. Oh. And the first line of defense is degreasing soap.
Wow. So oh. just get them all soaked up and rinse off that stuff. It's very smart. Yeah, I've seen that happen. This is stuff you don't think, you know, like in the back of your head, it'll come to you when you need it. Like, right. I need to degrease my cat. You need to degrease your what cat. What do I do? This is and now you know. Have it all in a little yeah. kit. Yep. Well, thank you, Doctor. Thanks, doctor. That You're was welcome. Awesome. Thank you. It's always great to be here. Great to see you. Thank Funny. you, guys. Thank you. Very thank much. you. Hey, we'll see you uh, next week. Next Saturday. <laughs> go degrease my cat. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you're calling me?